Hey guys, we're having a bit of fun here this afternoon with uh, the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game. Um, learning how to play. Uh, so we've got Durin's folk down here uh, versus uh, some Isengard Urukai. So with Durin's folk, we've got Mirren leading the warband with Dar. Uh, four. Kazakard, uh, four Iron Hills veterans with shields, and three Iron Hills veterans with dwarf bows. Over on the other side, we've got uh, a Urukai captain with heavy armor and shield, uh, four Urukai berserkers, three Urukai uh, with shields, and three with pikes, and an Isengard Troll. I've got this guy standing in because I don't have an Isengard Troll, but he's all the same size. He's probably a bit bigger. Anyway, we're going to just have a bit of a play and I'll keep you up to date as we go. Ah, so after the first round, not a lot happened um, besides the sun coming further in. Uh, so the dwarves sort of moved up a little the archers just moved around to just get a clearer shot and the shield guys came across to shield them uh, and the Urukai all came down the hill, the troll came down the hill as well out in the open, all the dwarves fired at him but all of them missed so well the, the archers did, they all missed so not much happened there <laughs> so we'll see how we go uh, so again not too much, um, more ineffective shooting by the Dwarves and it's all coming down to crunch time in the next round so it be interesting to see who wins priority and what we'll do. Okay. Alright, so the Dwarves won priority and uh, pulled back because they realised their lines were stretched out too far which meant uh, all the Urukai and the Troll moved in really close uh, so it's all going to happen next turn. Again, more shooting. Three hits onto the troll, uh, but no no wounds because uh, I have to roll sixes by fours to actually wound him. So I need to rethink my targets. All right. Well, it's all about to get bloody. We'll catch you in the next update. Alright, so the first round of combat um, wasn't too bloody. We lost one Kazagard and uh, two Berserkers died actually from some lucky rolling. Uh, so this is how it all pans out. The Troll won the fight but actually failed to inflict wounds. But his su Pike support actually managed to inflict a wound on Mirren. And he didn't save it with his fate. So he's down to one wound. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do with my archers in this state, so I think I'm just going to have to charge them in and use them as warriors to try and help uh, win the battle here. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. But we'll see what happens. It's uh, it's going to get yeah, I think it's going to get messy quickly for the dwarves, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so at the end of the round, um, sort of big swing over here, Mirren called a heroic strike, pushing his uh, fight value up to, I think it was 8, which is higher than the trolls, and the two uh, Kazagard fought two-handed, so they had minus 1 to their roll, but Mirren rolled the almighty 6, uh, and then uh, both Kazagard managed to wound the troll, and Mirren, using a might point, managed to put the last wound and kill the troll, so which is pretty close. Uh, but that leaves him down with, uh, he's down to one wound and one might left and no fate. So, uh, pretty dangerous. Um, the Urukai captain uh, managed to defeat uh, or win his fight and kill uh, one of the dwarf archers. He was fighting, um, but he's used all of his might, but he hasn't suffered any wounds, and still has his fate point as well. Um, so, that's interesting. 
Um, another berserker was killed over here where, where uh, Dar and the two archers, they just took him out. Um, and a bit more fighting over here. Uh, yeah, nothing really happened. And another dwarf warrior died here. So, over at the pile of dead, there's three berserkers dead and one troll and three dwarves are down. So, it's still close. Um, so we'll see what happens in the next round. Alright, so the dice went with the dwarves. Um, yeah. Uh, quite a few casualties inflicted. Uh, and none taken, which is uh, really good. Um, but still haven't inflicted a wound on the captain. Um, oh, that guy should be there. Uh, Mirren and R uh, double teamed up on him, um, but couldn't inflict a wound. And they still got plenty of might, but they rolled really poorly on the actual wound roll. Um, or, like, Mirren still got three might to use, so, yeah. Um, but the Urukai are down to six models, which means they're broken. So, depending on priority, so the Dwarves actually want to lose priority, so each one of the Urukai needs to make a Courage test. So, we'll see what happens. Um, but the Dwarves have been winning priority so far, so, yeah. Um, just also to note, actually, all along this line, the, the Kazagard actually lost all the fights, but the Urukai didn't inflict any wounds on them. Um, so it's just been some lucky rolling on the wounding has been the main difference so far. Okay, well, we'll see what happens and uh, we'll catch up with them. Alrighty, so um, I, I think we managed to kill one more and the captain. Okay, so uh, Mirren used his last point of might because he got caught up in a fight over here and the Kazagard helped him out. They killed the Urukai um, and they joined in the fight with Dar against the captain. Um, and actually, I think Mirren managed to do one wound and Dar used another point of might uh, to get the other wound. Uh, and the fate, actually, if he passed his fate roll. <laughs> He would have survived, but he didn't. He failed his fate. Uh, the Berserker over here killed an archer. Uh, and that's it. And then again, the two Kazagard lost, but uh, the Urukai couldn't get through their armor. Um, so they're, they're broken without their captain. So we'll see what happens. And to get down to 25% when the game ends, the Urukai need to get down to three models. Um, but it's looking good for the Dwarves. Now they've had a big fight back actually. I think killing the troll really turned the game around. Okay. Oh yeah, so that's that's game. Um, we managed to kill one more Urukai. Well actually Da managed to do it. Uh, the Urukai managed to take out another bowman, uh, the Urukai Berserker. Um, and yeah, I mean Kazagard versus Urukai Pikeman just doesn't seem to work out for us. Uh, and even even this Pikeman here actually won the fight against Mirren and the Kazagard, um, but failed to wound. Came really close. If he wounded Mirren, it was all over. So it was a fun game. Um, learn a lot. Really need to learn the heroic uh, actions a lot more because I think that'll have more of an impact on the game. Uh, and using monsters uh, a bit more. There are some monstrous strikes and stuff which I'm not familiar with. We chose not to use them for this game. And then there's also all the different special weapon strikes as well. Uh, but I think I need to get the base game down more before I get into them. So I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, and there'll, there'll be some more coming up and maybe a little bit more detail. Maybe even see some dice rolling. So we're not humming and hurrying about what we need to roll. Anyway, thanks guys. Have fun, keep hobbying, and I'll talk to you next time.